Chennai and Mumbai in Chennai. It's a day game in Chinnaswamy. Uh, Chinnaswamy, I'm saying a chepok. Nice and pleasant. A pleasant, what is it, 40, 42 degrees, <laughs> 85% humidity? That's if you're lucky. Yeah, that's a good day. Then. That's a good day. That's yeah. a good day in Chennai. Oh, great weather today. Ah, only 42. Yeah. <laughs> Polly, you've played day games in uh, Chennai back uh, when you were playing? Yes, yes, <laughs> I played a day game in Chennai and uh, I will never forget it. Yeah. It wasn't uh, easy to deal with. Uh, I can remember that the big thing about Chennai was you're in the dressing room, you've got the air conditioning, you put your beautiful Oakley sunglasses on and you walk out and as you walk up, <laughs> The steam comes up and you can't see where you're going. So you take the glasses off, put them on top of your head. And that's how hot it was. It was basically from the cold air conditioning out into the fire. And uh, it was real challenging. And it can be hard, you know, for, for teams that go there. Particularly the, the, the individuals who maybe aren't as fit. Um, you know, you have to go field and then come back and have to bat afterwards. Um, it can be pretty challenging. So the local team does have an advantage, definitely from conditions wise. I have uh, done a live show there from three to four once and <laughs> I didn't have to change my shirt but the original shirt I couldn't wash it I had to burn it like it was finished. <laughs> <laughs> it, was that, it was that sweaty. It is insanely hostile. So you if you win the toss you really want to bat first as Virinder Sevak says why burn 11 people when you can just burn two at a time. Absolutely. And burn the other 11. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you know there's going to be no due if it's an afternoon game, this board, you, you might as well bat first, put something on the board and make them sweat a bit. Make them yeah. sweat a bit literally and, yeah. and <laughs> metaphysically. You know, let's have a look at uh, where they are on the points table, both these teams. Chennai and Mumbai. Uh, there you go. Mumbai is at 10 points uh, from 9 games and Chennai is at 11 from 10. So which means that if Mumbai wins tomorrow, they can jump above Chennai. And I'll tell you something, if Mumbai jumps above Chennai, all of Mumbai will be jumping. All of Mumbai will be jumping. It's a big one because see, you've got a team which is a really strange one. You know, I'll, I'll give it the example is, you know, you have some of these boxers when in the game of boxing, like George Foreman. He had just that one right hook. So, you know, Chennai's, uh, Mumbai's right hook is their batting. So, I've yeah. got one really good punch. Yeah. If it lands, God help you. But, you know. But is this Chennai me, the same though? As, so, if I you're see, seeing, it's yeah. both these teams are getting their games won by great batting. True, but at least Mumbai, if you look at Chennai, if you look at it, has decent spinners. Okay. But if you look at this, this is a gun batting unit. Yeah. Their bowling is beginning to get going, you know. But Pius Chawla, two years before, in the same Mumbai team, played two games the entire year because they were yeah. bowlers better than him. Today, he's their best bowler. Today, he, they write his name yeah, first. Yeah, they write his name first <laughs> in the bowlers list. Yeah. yeah. So, it tells you the, you know, the cupboard is much better than it was. Mm. And that's the thing that, can you get out of that hook, that right hook that the Mumbai batting will land? Yeah, it's act, it's, it is two right hooks, right? Because even Chennai is bowling, it hasn't really inspired or filled you with confidence. So, they haven't had any champion destructive performance. Whereas the batters have had those game after game, Polly. Yeah, I think you know, the Spandi's figures are, are pretty good. I mean, the amount of wickets he's taken, I think they've missed Jahar a lot throughout the tournament. His ability to shape it up front is, is just fantastic. But um, yeah, I mean, they, they've got most bases covered. I, I think the performances that we, we've seen from them, uh, Paterana, I mean, he's actually been okay at the death. But they haven't quite nailed down it and they like to have stability. They haven't had that stability that they, that they would really want. I think the big challenge is we talk about win the toss and bat first. From a Mumbai perspective, I think they, if we look at their five wins that they have, four of them have been chasing. Yeah. So they've got over the line and that's their real strength. So things have fall, fallen into their hands where they win the toss, they make sure that they bowl first and then they've got this wonderful batting lineup that they can reinforce. And it's been able to chase down and we've seen them, what, 30 and 1 over or, or whatever it may be. I think still for them, the challenge will be is when they have to try and defend the score with their bowling attack. Because as you guys mentioned, Charlie has been the standout. Joffre Archer's kind of finding, trying to find his feet. They're not 100% sure where everyone fits in. And that's when under the pressure situations, they might be asked a few questions. Um, as I say, four victories have come through chasing with the bat. The one victory they defended, I think it was 193 or 194. Uh, I think it was SRH who, who didn't really chase through all that well. Um, if I remember, um, Maya Gagaval at the top of the order kind of went to run a ball, so he didn't really put them under enough pressure. And that's the only victory that the bowlers have managed to bowl them to. So that will be their challenge. 
But then from a, a Chennai perspective, I also feel that their roles, they used to be so secure in what their roles were, mm-hmm. but uh, their personnel hasn't been as comfortable from a bowling perspective as well. Both teams have been batting nicely. Yeah, they've obviously missed some bowling resources as well. Cause Ben Stokes uh, got injured. They would have got some bowling mm-hmm. from him. Magala, Magala, Ma- Cheher. Magala, Deepak Cheher. So they've obviously had uh, a bowling cupboard that's looked bare, looked inexperienced, but he still gets it done, right? He still gets it done. MS somehow manages to cobble a bowling performance out of all of them. But if you look at these squads, would you see any changes, Joy, for tomorrow's game? Chennai, uh, of course, they change a lot, so there'll be that's no, right. There'll be no changes. That's right. They make seven to eight changes in about a decade. Seven to eight years. <laughs> in a decade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'd say they play the same team. Yeah, they perhaps. Uh, yeah, there's nobody there that's really breaking the door down. There's nobody in the squad who's saying, oh, no, no, you can do it without me, right? So, they're just, uh, they're just getting it done. Of course, everyone at Chepok will uh, hope and pray that the captain No, no, that, that letter has come out. I've sent that petition. You've sent that captain. letter that Dhoni it's, has to play? Six, six balls at Six balls at least. Yeah, that's a part of the contract. Now. All right, otherwise, everybody who bought a ticket gets their money back. <laughs> exactly. That's right, that petition has been passed. So, yeah. Do, will we get our money back as well? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're also watching on tell. No ads for us. Something something has to be done. We something, to... right? We need something. Something. We need payback. <laughs> All right. Uh, but of course, you know that when both these teams play each other, there's something. Is there? And you can tell us because you've been part of that team. There's just always something when it happens. Right? When these two teams play, something extra ignites in you if you're wearing a blue or a yellow. Yeah, for sure. Um, that was one definitely one of our needle matches. And... And we always felt massive going to Chennai. I think that venue in particular, you know, to try and win there is, is like a big body blow. And in, in context of this tournament, as it stands, where they are on the table at this late, later stage of it, um, it'll be a massive body blow. Whoever manages to win tomorrow is really taking a step forward in the right direction. And the, the team that loses has obviously got a lot of work to do. So it's going to be a huge encounter and uh, I'll be looking forward to that. Mm. Well, one player to watch out for from each team. So, uh, Polly, you go with uh, Mumbai. Um, well, I don't know, Jeffrey Archer. I want to see how he goes. I want to see if he starts to find some rhythm, if he starts to play more of a part. Will he be playing? That's the other thing. I mean, they've been doing play one, rest one. So, I want to see how he goes. Hopefully, he plays and see what he can possibly do on that surface. He's played two back-to-back games now. Yep. Play a third one. Yeah, and looked as if he's, his wheels are on again, okay. getting those 147s, 148s again. Your pick from Chennai? I'll just go for Rituraj because I feel that this is a mediocre Mumbai bowling attack. And if somebody can get on top of it, they can go really big, they can score big runs.